Willkommen zurück zu einer weiteren Folge Sherlock Holmes. Mal gespannt, ob mein Fachwissen richtig ist, so wie ich das hier gemacht habe. Wir spulen einfach mal vor. So, Mr. Turner ja. used a book to hide an object that he found on Kenneth Butler's body. The question is, what did he find? Genau, das gucken wir jetzt nach. I can see prints from greasy fingers upon the cover of this book. Let us take a closer look. Well now, what a find. A precious jewel concealed inside a book. Mm -hmm. A bracelet with unique ram's head design. A distinctive feature of ancient Grecian artifacts, probably of the Hellenistic era. Du kleiner, alter Langfinger, du. Hm. Mr. Turner, how would it be possible for a man of advanced years, such as yourself, to rush from his bed to the window in a matter of seconds, as you have stated? Well, uh, I'm, I'm able to move very quickly, despite my age, and when the situation requires it, Mr. Holmes. Ist das I'm, I'm able to move very quickly, despite my age. And when the situation requires it, Mr. Holmes. Mm. I highly doubt that, Mr. Turner. I observe that you suffer a severe limp due to your injured right leg. It would have taken at least 10 seconds for you to approach the window. That means you could have easily missed something or someone in Half Moon Street during that time. You're right, Mr. Holmes. I could have missed something. But it did seem to me that everything happened so quickly. Oh, time can pull tricks on you. And what of everything else that you told us? Mr. Turner, it is vital that we have your complete and true statement. Mr. Holmes, I do assure you that the other things I said were most sincere. Aha. Mr. Turner, you were not sincere with me. Not then, and not now. But, but, but Mr. Holmes... This, Mr. Turner, does not look like anything that a poor man might possess. It is worth more than the home that you live in. I, I can explain. No, merely correct me if I am wrong. You saw Leighton Chapman through the window. But you also noticed a glittering object on the ground. This precious jewel. You walked down and took the bracelet from the body of Kenneth Butler. And when you heard the whistles, you hurried away. That broke your walking stick. It caught fast between the cobbles. Constable Marrow was unable to see you in the window as you were climbing up the stairs on your way back to your flat. Upon returning home, you hid the precious jewel inside a book. Mr. Holmes, please don't send me to prison. I didn't do anything bad. I'm just a poor man. When I chanced upon the bracelet, I saw it as an opportunity to make a little money. I was desperate. I only took the bracelet, that's all I swear. You made a mistake by lying to me. But you are not a criminal, I believe that. Although I must return this bracelet to its rightful owner. Wer einmal lügt, lügt immer. Tja. Wer einmal lügt, lügt immer. 
So war es doch schon immer. So, für was ist aber der Schlüssel, den wir dem Ehen abgenommen haben? Hm. Constable Marrow, I would value your assistance in this investigation. It would be my pleasure, Mr. Holmes. I would like to make sure that there are no places in Half Moon Street where a man could hide while you were running through it with your lamp. All right, Mr. Holmes, what should I do? Take your lamp and start walking, just as you did before, and try to find me. Understood. So, wo können wir uns verstecken? I can see you very well, Mr. Holmes. All right, Constable. Let's try again. I'll find another place to hide. Okay. Here you are, Mr. Holmes. All right, Constable. <laughs> Let's try Geil. again. I'll find another place to hide. Okay. Bin ja nicht doof. Hä? Äh. Wo ist der? Hä? Äh. Wo ist der? Mr. Holmes, it wasn't difficult to find you at all. No. It's obvious now. No one could escape Constable Marrow's lamp while hiding in the street. Lol, Passt irgendwie alles gar nicht. Das macht mich gerade ein bisschen stutzig. Es geht wieder alles zum Doppelmord. Ich verstehe das nicht. Irgendwas ist hier faul. Locked. Okay, weiter komme ich hier nicht. Locked. Locked. Wir haben hier noch den Einschlüssel. Locked. Locked. Okay, da kommen wir nicht hinter. I suppose that I shall have to move my stool now. I'll do anything to save my brother, Mr. Holmes. Ich verstehe das nicht. Leuchtpistole. Okay. Ich verstehe das trotzdem nicht. Warum geht alles auf diesen Jungen zurück? Ich glaube nicht, dass der das war. Weil im Buch ist dann auch die Silhouette einer dritten Person. Und die müssen wir ja auch noch ausfindig machen. Du 
Oh Gott. Oh, gib mal eine Leuchtpistole rein, du. Mr. Holmes, what is the trouble with that lad? Isn't he guilty of murder? Please believe me, Mr. Holmes. I'm not. Jetzt mich verarschen, wo kriege ich eine Leuchtpistole her? I'm always one. Das nervt mich ein bisschen. Immer dieses Hin und Her gekutsche. Leuchtpistole her. Äh. Uh. Oh, klassische Wiederköpfe verziert. Eine Antike. Goldreif. That is not the one I need. That is not the one I need. Kann aber nur hier That sein. is not the one I need. That 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 is not the one I need. <sighs> that is not the one I need. That is not the one I need. Ich muss überspringen lassen, ich finde da nichts. I need to continue my research in my archives. Here it is. Hmm. One of the victims, Kenneth Butler, was involved in the story of the stolen Hellenistic treasures. A visit to his pawn shop should tell me more. Dann gehen wir dahin. Passt immer noch nichts. Ich verstehe aber das hier nicht. Das aber der junge Bursche war es nicht. Das glaube ich gar nicht. Das kann nicht sein. Aber wie es weitergeht, erfahren wir in der nächsten Folge. Bis dann bleibt gespannt. Genießt den Tag und bye bye. Like a rock,
Star Dance Until I drop my 